Today's video is sponsored by Raycon. Hello and welcome to another video and welcome to Helsinki Airport in Finland where today I'm going to be doing something really new for me. I'm taking Qatar Airways down to Doha in Qatar. It's my first time flying with them and it's the third leg of a 14 leg trip to Australia, New Zealand and beyond. It's going to be a great trip. Enjoy the video. Qatar Airways uses Terminal 2 at Helsinki, although you'll not find their check-in in the main hall. They're down a side corridor and are located near a security lane. Helsinki's a truly great airport to use, whether you're departing or connecting. The non-Schengen area is great and has two new Finnair lounges. At the time of shooting this video, I hadn't quite qualified as a One World Emerald frequent flyer, so I couldn't use the best lounge, the Platinum Wing. But the regular Finnair Business Class lounge was available and contains reasonable food options and a decent quiet place to wait before a flight. I'm not entirely sold on the Jaffa Cakes on the breakfast buffet and decided to leave the apple, lime and spinach smoothie for someone else to try. I found the lounge inoffensive but a little boring. It was my first time here and it's not a patch on the platinum wing next door. But if you need one, there are bookable showers here, which is a great facility to have in any lounge. So that was the Finnair Business Class Lounge. I'm just heading up to the next gate now for my flight to Doha with Qatar Airways. And some great news for me, I've had an equipment change on my flight. When I originally booked this, it was due to be an Airbus A330, which has a good but not particularly exciting business class product. And for some reason, that has changed now to an Airbus A350-900, as I'm sure you're aware from the title of the video. That is a much better product. Sometimes equipment changes don't work out in your favour, but it's my day to day. Today's video sponsor is Raycon, who sent me some of their new earbuds to try. Honestly, these are absolutely incredible and about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds. This models the Everyday E25, which comes in a great case that gives you six hours of playtime. And they also give you a great noise isolating fit. And that's because there's a range of buds to fit any ear size. Pairing the earbuds with your device is dead easy and the sound is great. I could even enjoy music on a loud turboprop plane I've been flying in the Caribbean. Anyway, to get these in a range of fun colours, go to buyraycon.com slash wingingit to get 15% off your order. Boarding was quick and easy. The flight was about half full. And don't forget, you can read my written review of the flight on the Simple Flying website. Good, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. It's the 4 Street and a little bit. Thank you. What do you say? Lovely, thank Hi, you very much, you. thank you. There are two business class cabins on the A350-900 one occupying the whole front cabin and one mid-cabin one containing 12 seats. All seats here have direct aisle access. Immediately behind business class is economy. Qatar Airways doesn't offer a premium economy. Be reminded that smoking and the use of electronics, 
airways is not permitted anywhere on board these aircraft. Thank you. That's very good, thank you. Good morning, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a special occasion, my first time in fact with Qatar Airways, so I got a glass of rosé champagne as my pre-flight drink, and the first of many cold towels. Lots of airlines now use a variation of the Super Diamond seat from Collins. This one lacks privacy but is still a great seat with plenty of storage. There's even a drawer for your shoes. Another great aspect of this seat is the very large table which extends all the way to the TV, bigger than I've seen on any other version of this seat. I also love that Qatar have gone to the extra expense of having translucent electric blinds on these aircraft. It's clear that the airline really cares about its aesthetic, and the A350 cabin is really just a fantastic place to be. Another plus point, Wi-Fi is free for an hour and only $10 for the whole six hour flight, which is very, very reasonable. The connectivity was good enough for me to open flight radar and still find someone in a fancy aircraft than I was. Breakfast on planes can often be a boring affair, but Qatar knocked this for six. This was a truly five-star meal. You'd get this in any five-star hotel, and the care with which this was presented was a testament to my cabin crew. The food was of excellent quality, and while flying Qatar Airways comes with high expectations, on this occasion, they really exceeded them.
In terms of entertainment, that's provided in high definition on a superb 17-inch touchscreen. There is pretty much everything available on here, even recitations of the Quran if that's your thing. I wanted to test the bed out for a bit, so I went for a nap for about an hour. The blanket and pillow provided are both excellent and the 6 foot 6 inch bed will accommodate most sizes of passenger. I had a great sleep. Before landing, afternoon tea was served, again with panache and skill by the crew. It looks fabulous, but one thing let the meal down. Unfortunately, the clotted cream wasn't all that clotted. I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be. And the small scones were too dry and biscuity. Still, the cakes and tea were great, although I do wonder how we were ever able to take off with all the cold towels on board. Seriously, there were a lot of these. The amenity kits were made by Bricks, an Italian company, and are intended to be reused. The toiletries inside are reasonably good, and this theme continues inside the lavatories where you'll find rituals, hand lotion, and body mist, whatever that's for. Dental kits are also available in the lavatories. Soon it was time to descend into some rather interesting weather around the Arabian Gulf. An excellent flight, all in all, only bettered on this trip by the Q-suite I then took to Australia. And yes, of course, that'll feature in a future video. The total cost, one way, 1,400 euro during a sale. Not bad. I want to address the elephant in the room at the end of this video. The current coronavirus crisis is hitting aviation hard. I'm not here to give an opinion about it, but simply to say, if you're working in the industry, I really do appreciate how hard it is to make an airline tick. And I know that if you're airline staff watching this, then you share the same passion that I do. Flying isn't just a job, it's a calling for many people. And I know these are really worrying times. In a previous life, I too faced job insecurity and I know how stressful it can be. At some point in the future, I'm confident the industry will recover, but until then, I'm sharing your worries and wishing you the best. I'm still looking forward to posting my huge backlog of videos, so there'll be no change on this channel, and I hope you'll still enjoy watching it. Thanks so much for joining me in this video, whoever you are. And don't forget to get 15% off your Raycon order by heading to buyraycon.com forward slash winginit.